There are many occasions where a countdown timer would be useful when you're hosting a video call. For example, at the beginning to let the audience know when the meeting is starting, or for a coffee break, or for a timed exercise. Hi, my name is Enrico, and I help you become a remote working hero by adopting the technology that works best for you. In this video, you're going to learn how to create a countdown timer in OBS Studio and build a scene that you can use already at your next video call. My mission is to make your life easier, so I've made for you six circle timer animations that you can download for free from my website. More about it in a second. Now, if you're struggling a bit with OBS, I'm soon publishing a course that will make you a remote presentation hero, and by the end of it, I guarantee OBS will become your friend. So go and subscribe to my newsletter to learn more. Time to build our countdown now. Let's go and do it together. Let's open OBS and create a scene that I will call Countdown Scene. In order to add a countdown, you have to follow a couple of simple steps. The first one is to add a text source to the scene. I'll call it Countdown Text, add some random text that actually we'll see in a minute won't matter, and then formatting it as we wish. We've just written countdown, now I'm going to place it more or less in the middle. The way we transform this text into a real countdown is the following. Click on Tools, Scripts, then Plus, and OBS will open the folder where it stores scripts. By default, you should already have a countdown script in there. Select the countdown.lua script, choose the duration, and then select the text source to which the script should be applied to. We only have one text source, that is the countdown text, so let's choose it. Click on OK, and voila, we have a countdown timer. For a timer that only includes minutes, you may want to delete the first digits. So as with any other OBS source, just click on Alt and crop it. Careful that if you crop it and you've set a final text to appear after the countdown is finished, then your final text will be cropped. So we'll delete it. Okay, we have the countdown now, but it looks pretty simple. So let's make it more beautiful by adding an animation. There are many ways you can do that. You can go to Canva, select an animation, define a green background, export the video and then chroma key it in OBS, and finally spend time to fine-tune the timing such that the animation and the countdown are in sync. Or you can use my personal gift to you. Go to my website www.enricozamparo.com, link in the description, and download six circle timer animations for free. You'll have it in white, blue, red, green, yellow and pink. I created the animations for you already with a transparent background and with the exact timing, so that it will be perfectly synced with your countdown. So each animation lasts 2 seconds, circle is drawn in exactly 1 second and then disappears in the following second. You'll also find a number of other timer animations, and my favorites are the flagged colored ones. Have a look, and I'm sure you'll find your country flag. After you've downloaded the files, let's import them into OBS. I'll import all the 6 colors, so you can see them in action, but if you have a preferred one, you can just work with that single one. In order to have the animation playing continuously, we'll have to loop it. Let's right-click on the source, then Properties, and select Loop. You can leave the speed as is at 100%, as it is already perfectly synced with the timer. Make sure that the option Restart Playback when source becomes active is selected, and then click on OK. Let's center the timer. And now our countdown is ready. When we will select again the scene, the countdown and the animation will start at the same time. So let's build another scene and call it Intro Scene. When we move from Intro Scene to Countdown, you can see that the circle is drawn exactly every second. Let's loop all other animations and see how they look like. My preferred one is the Italian flag colored one. So I'll import it and loop it. And I'll make the timer text a little bit smaller. If you're finding the video useful so far, please hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch it. Thank you. Okay, we now have our countdown scene. We want to use this content in a scene that we will be broadcasting while the audience is waiting before the start of the meeting. So let's create another scene and call it waiting scene. In this scene, I will use as a source the countdown scene that we've just made. As usual, I'm working here with nested scenes. That is best practice with OBS, because it allows us flexibility on the format and filters that we want to apply to the content. So for example, if I resize the countdown scene, it will keep the proportions of the whole countdown, and I can move it and place it wherever I like, without impacting the actual format of the countdown source and the animation circle source. When the audience joins before the start of the meeting, I also want to show that I'm there. 
so in the waiting scene I will add my camera source. Let's click on plus and add a video capture device. Ok, great, I have the camera and the countdown. Let me make the countdown a bit bigger and center it again. And now to give the message that something is happening but the meeting hasn't started yet, I will add a semi-transparent layer on top of the camera. Click on plus and add a color source. Let's select black color, click on OK, then right click on the color source and add a color correction filter. And let's now reduce the opacity until we find the sweet spot. The only thing we need to do now is to put the timer on top of the semi-transparent layer. Let's drag and drop it. And here it is. If we want to be really perfect, let's add some text saying session starts in. We can include it inside the animation or slightly resize the timer and place the text on top of it. Perfect, I hope you like it. Now at the end of the timer nothing happens. The timer disappears, but the animation keeps going. So I would have to manually click on another scene to get the meeting started. And this is exactly what you learned by watching this video here. How to automatically transition to a new scene when the timer has ended for a smooth start of your meeting. It's here. Click it. Click it.